But yeah, so. She can summon me properly. This went so much smoother than I could ever have imagined. We did prepare previously. I have lots of uh, Oreo pudding, Jello, as well as So guys, today, obviously, I'm hosting the vlog, your favorite, as always. I'm going to be taking you guys along on the journey of what me and Janice are going to be doing in order to help prepare for her wisdom teeth surgery. I know that there's not really a huge amount of stuff that you can do to prepare, but I want to do as much as humanly possible to make sure that Janice is taken care of, comfortable, and doesn't have to worry about anything. We do have a few things coming in from Amazon, such as like this little head wrap thingy with some ice packs for there, um, a bell in order for her to be able to call me if I'm somewhere else in the house, that way she doesn't have to scream or yell, as well as a few other odds and ends here and there. And I'm gonna show you what we're doing, some of the stuff we got for her food-wise, all this great stuff to make her life easy and comfortable. Haha, that's a lot more stuff than step one complete okay so I got everything here I am actually going to open them and then show you what it is because I do not have two hands to be doing everything at once all right so everything that arrived is not just for prep of you know surgery and stuff like that we did get a couple household things that you know we needed so I'm gonna show you what is it that we got to make our lives easier right now all right so I do not have the tripod with me so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you so the first thing that Denise got to make our lives easier and this is like headband thing you can put on your face like that so that these little gel packets when they're frozen go on the inside of here and uh, they make you know keeping your jaw cool a lot easier beautiful fashion statement don't you think how do I look I'm gonna leave these little gels out for a few hours because like I'm not sure if you can tell but like in some places there is no gel and there's like a lot here so just leave it out for a little bit just to make sure that it's all nice and even before I freeze them so it's even amount of cold that she's gonna get on her face next item on our docket is a doggy bell why a doggy bell you ask well because just one bell was gonna be like six seven dollars and these two doggy bells are about eight bucks. So, a little bit better to see, is it? Why would you need a bell? Well, think about it. You just had surgery in your mouth, and you don't want to talk, you don't want to yell. If I'm downstairs and she needs something, she's in pain, she can. And I can hear it, and then I can go and help her. So, uh. But yeah, so. She can summon me properly. So, last but certainly not least, portion cups. These are these little cups, they're about yay high, and uh, this is what they are. We got 100 cups plus lids. So, the reason behind these cups is that I'm going to make jello, pudding, and I can put yogurt and all sorts of stuff in these little cups, bring them up to her, and this is gonna be some of her snack food and actual food that she's gonna have to be eating for the next few days. We did prepare previously. I have lots of uh, Oreo pudding, Jello, as well as Godiva dark chocolate pudding as well. These are going to be some of the snacks that we have. Obviously, we're going to be making her some soup, some like beef, chicken broth, and have a little bit more nutrients, stuff like that. Uh, my mom is going to make her a soup out of, I always forget how to say it in English. In Spanish, it's Aoyama. In English, yams, I believe. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. So these are some of the things that we're going to be doing to make her life easier. Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm actually going to start preparing Janice's Jello. Like I showed you before, we do have these little cups. And I'm going to open these up for you just so you can have a better idea of what they are. These little cups like that. So these will work perfectly for what we're going to be doing and that is going to i'm going to fill it up like three-fourths of the way with some jello i still have to you know get the water boiling get some cold water mix it in with the gelatin and then start pouring these cups 
If my math is right, which I hope it is, it's supposed to use exactly eight of these cups to the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use about 10 or 12 cups and I just wanna fill it like three fourths of the way just so I don't have any spilling or anything while I'm putting this stuff into the fridge. Now, for those of you who do not know the recipe for Jello, you have to have two cups of boiling water, two cups of cold water, add the boiling water to the gelatin mix, stir until all of this is completely dissolved, and then after it's dissolved, you add the cold water, stir again, and then you can either leave it in the bowl, put it in some cups, and then you have to refrigerate it for four hours. Long time, and then it's gonna be set, and there you go, you got Jello. So wow, that is actually boiling. I have, this is gonna be the mixing bowl that I'm using. This is from her KitchenAid. I didn't wanna use anything plastic when I have to put boiling water into it. So I'm gonna use this, then you're gonna use a whisk to mix it all up. Now, a big thing, Janice is kind of like me. We only like cherry and like fruit punch and red. I don't like any other of those orange flavors or anything like that, lemon. I don't like any of those, honestly, just cherry. It's the best kind, right? have to stir for two minutes until everything is completely dissolved. Okay, now we're gonna add our cold water slowly. Keep stirring. This is a lot of jello. And this is like actual cold water I had stored in the fridge. Wow. A lot of jello. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna set out all these cups. I'm going to transfer some of the jello mix into here and start pouring into each and every single cup. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm going to bring it into that container into this one with this little ladle. Let's see how this works. I'm trying to do this this way because I want to have as little mess as possible. Now you're probably thinking, why don't you just use the ladle? It's still just gonna go everywhere on the counter and I just don't wanna clean up as much today. <laughs> I have so many things to do today to prep for both Janice's surgery as well as mine. And uh, I just wanna make this easy. Okay, good starting point. going surprisingly well. Two, four, six, eight so far. This went so much smoother than I could ever have imagined. Little to nothing spilled. I'm happy. So I have, let me see, four, eight, twelve. I have fourteen of these little cups of jello. Again, I only fill them up like three-fourths of the way so that, you know, it's not jammed up to the top. I have the lids. I'm going to put the lids on them, and then I'm going to put them in the fridge. So, as you can see, I have them all here placed nicely. I'm going to close the drawer, and there we go. Another awesome yummy treat that I'm going to be doing for Janice for her surgery is Oreo pudding. If you guys have never tried this Oreo pudding, honestly, it is delicious. It's amazing, and it's actually super easy to make. You throw this pudding mix in a bowl, you add two cups of cold milk, you whisk it for two minutes, throw it in the fridge, and five minutes, you have pudding. So this stuff is awesome, super smooth, tastes delicious. Good for other desserts, you wanna do like toppings and stuff like that, but I love it. And I'm gonna prepare some for Janice, put it in a little container, just like I did the Jello. All right guys, it's been two minutes of mixing and as you can tell, this consistency, not the watery consistency it was before, five minutes set of this in the fridge and you have your pudding. I love it. So as soon as the pudding is done, look who shows up to test it. Mm-hmm. So I like how you had the camera perfectly ready for this. Mm-hmm. Screw you. Whoa, look at it, look at it. It does it's look so good. Perfect. 
Why didn't you do that in like a piping bag? Are you going to put it in a piping bag? That would be smart. It would be easy too. <laughs> That's why I say this. Alright, let's try it. It doesn't have enough Oreos, so F already. Mm. I remember I made this for Jackie when she had her wisdom teeth out. Delicious. I love it. Yeah, this, this, this pudding is damn good. And the Oreo little chunks in it become like super soft. I love it. Love this it. is mine. I'm allowed to double dip. No one better comment about this. Mm. Ah. Yeah, no, it's okay. Just have another spoonful. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. fine. Keep going. Mm. Yes. Mmm. Mm. Terribly good. <laughs> Guys. Just aim it up a little uh -huh. bit. And I know you're short, but damn, sweetie. Guys, it's been a long day. I have been a hermit recording vlogs or editing vlogs like a madman. She has. I'm very proud of her and she's doing this so that we get as much content out to you guys and also continue the content even while uh, she's out for the count. So far today I have edited, 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 Edison, whatever. <laughs> I've done like five vlogs and I have a goal of at least trying to do three more. <laughs> It's a lot. I'm trying guys. I'm so exhausted. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even get to sleep well last night. Nope. Whatever. Whatever. I, I'm happy. I get whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So guys, for now, adieu and good night.